What's going on everyone, it is me Lone Vault Wanderer and if you haven't heard and judging by the last two videos on my channel, you probably have. Bioshock the Collection was officially revealed and announced by 2K. The trailer looks absolutely amazing, you can see it on the screen right now, I'm slowing it down so you can capture all of the remastered glory of the original Bioshock, Bioshock 2 and Bioshock Infinite games. The trailer is absolutely amazing, however in this video I want to talk about the full information that's been released from 2K about Bioshock the Collection. The blog article that I'm talking about is linked in the description below, but I'm going to be highlighting the main points. Three Bioshock games, all of the single player DLC, remastered for modern machines, one value packed bundle, you're damn fucking right. It's been nine years since Irrational Games and 2K took you on a terrifying journey to the depths of the underwater city of Rapture with Bioshock. Five years since you returned to Rapture in Bioshock 2. Three years since you grabbed a Skyhook and sailed across the floating city of Columbia in Bioshock Infinite. And on September 13, 2016, September 15 in Australia, god fucking damn it, you can relive these award winning adventures or experience them for the very first time remastered for current gen consoles and digital PC with Bioshock The Collection. Bioshock The Collection brings the three titles together for the first time, complete with all single player DLC and a never before seen video series, director's commentary, Imagining Bioshock, which includes insights from Ken Levine, who's the creator of Bioshock by the way, over $100 of content for only $59.99 it's a circus of values, and specifically the bundled content for Bioshock The Collection includes For the original Bioshock, as I mentioned, the video series director's commentary Imagining Bioshock featuring Ken Levine, creative director on Bioshock and Bioshock Infinite and Sean Robinson, the animation lead on Bioshock and animation director on Bioshock Infinite also, the Museum of Orphan Concepts, walk through a rapture inspired virtual museum that gives you a behind the scenes look at discarded concepts that never made it into the original game, and challenge rooms, outside the story of Bioshock tackle puzzles, splices and big daddies, and achievements of course. For Bioshock 2, unfortunately, the multiplayer would not be included. For most people, you won't really care about that, you'll get the main game anyways. And with that, you'll get Minerva's Den, a self-contained Bioshock story presenting a side of Rapture you've never seen before, using expanded combat abilities with the experimental ion laser and chaotic gravity well plasmid unique to Minerva's Den as you face off against the Lancer Big Daddy. And also the Protector Trials, take control of an Alpha Series Big Daddy woken out of hibernation just before the the events of Bioshock 2. And finally with Bioshock Infinite you get Burial at Sea Episode 1 and 2 add-on packs. This major two-part DLC completes the Bioshock trilogy by taking the series back to where it all began, return to Rapture just before the events of the original Bioshock. This is the most amazing DLC by the way, you need to fucking play it. It really does tie the story together in terms of the entirety of the Bioshock franchise really nicely and it's such a great send off to fans, it's fucking amazing. But continuing, Clash in the Clouds add-on pack, face 60 ways of challenges across 4 additional maps for leaderboard glory and unlock areas to explore the Columbian Archaeological Society Hub Museum. And finally Columbia's finest pack, combines the contents of the Industrial Revolution pack and the upgrade pack and includes 500 silver eagles, 5 lockpicks, 6 unique gear items and 2 weapon upgrades, Comstock's China Broom Shotgun and Comstock's Eagle Eye Sniper Rifle. In short, Bioshock The Collection offers more than $100 of content remastered for PlayStation 4, Xbox One and digital PC for only $59.99. Remember, a man chooses, a slave obeys. So would you kindly follow the new Bioshock handle on Twitter, I've already done that, don't you worry, it's not like I had a choice anyways, <laughs> and visit us on Facebook or go to the webpage and prepare for a remastered Bioshock experience. Again, Bioshock The Collection for Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and PC will be available in North America on September 13, Australia on September 15 and internationally on September 16. And as a final note, just remember Bioshock Infinite is not being remastered on PC because it already meets current gen console standards and run smoothly on high visual settings. They're right about that, don't worry, the game looks phenomenal on PC anyways and you're still getting it as part of this collection and again for Bioshock 2 multiplayer it is not included in the collection. So that's the full suite of information for Bioshock The Collection. I hope you are as excited for it as I am. This is amazing. The best time to get into the Bioshock series is right now with this remaster. You get everything. All the DLC, all the main games, remastered beauty, 
I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. This is fucking awesome. I'm just so excited. Sorry. I really need to make this video before I go to bed. But guys, it's here. Bioshock the Collection. Yeah? You're going to play these games? Fucking play them, please. For me. Do it for me. It's a favor for loan. Your best friend, buddy. Play these games. Anyways, please let me know if you're excited about Bioshock the Collection in the comments below. And until next time, this has been Loan. Please take care of yourself. And would you kindly keep fighting the good fight?